Namaste, I'm Masha, welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be showing you today my new deck. This video is a video request and I'm very excited to share with you the newest deck, the one that I only received yesterday and the title of it, uh, of course, you, you, you can see in the title of this video below. This is Paradoxical Rose Edition of Triomphe de la Luna deck by Patrick Valenza. So um, is, is the deck only arrived yesterday and you know, if I have to be honest, I'm, I have to admit I'm crushing on this deck right now, I'm really enjoying it. I did unbox it yesterday straight away, but I did put it uh, together just to show you how it came. So yeah, let's have a look. Um, the deck came very, very safely packed and of course there was plastic in the box which I kind of put underneath. And the deck itself, it comes in the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see here on my camera, but it's metallic rose paper. And my three cards are falling, falling out. So yeah, um, here you have Patrick Valenza's um, signature. And it's uh, the, the paper itself, it's kind of already, it's, it's almost like the work of art. And what I really appreciate because this deck is, uh, is a Terre de Marseille styled deck. And I really appreciate that pa uh, Patrick decided to, uh, to do this more traditional wrapping, the paper wrapping of the deck. So shall we have a look? It kind of had the little elastic to hold the paper together, but it, did, it actually was quite secured here. I just had to kind of un, um, unglue a little bit the, the corners here so I could open it. So, um, yeah, that's the paper itself. So if you have to get in, you can see now it's just beautiful. I love this soft rose metallic pink. This is beautiful, such beautiful paper. And the deck itself, um, so uh, comes it's uh, in uh, in this box. And I must say, out of tag boxes, these ones probably are the better ones uh, that we see. So you can see Triomphe de la Luna English text. This one has English text. We have the lovers cards at the back. This is the front. So it's again, it's more paradoxically um, presented. But uh, the same image, and I love the pinks and kind of Bordeaux reds and purples. Already, just having a look at the box itself, the deck uh, is actually eighty cards, and I will show you the um, why why it's eighty. But um, it's of course seventy eight tarot cards. <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> Chippy, no. I'm back here. Yeah, he is with his ball. Jeffy, say hello. So yeah, the deck, uh, it has 80 cards in it. We have the first card is this introduction card. So you see the Triomphe de la Luna Paradoxical Rose edition 2016 by Patrick Valenza. That's the back. And we have 78 tarot cards with one extra card, uh, extra tarot card that I will show you a little bit later uh, when I flip through the deck. And we have 11 um, additional cards that can be used as oracles, as clarifiers, uh, that, that are also paradoxically, rose paradoxically made. They are the backs and I really love this coloration. It's almost like dark sea green, uh, sea blue, dark deep turquoise color with the moons. Really love those. I will absolutely be aging this dark. I need to find that kind of rose metal, uh, met metallic or rose gold marker in order to uh, to make this dark even stand out even more. Size wise, I don't have my ruler with me, but I do have more standard cards here from uh, uh, AE Weight Terror. So if you kind of measure this one, uh, they're identical. So yeah. They're exactly identical in their size so you can see from the other side as well so yeah exactly the same size as what we believe is the classic traditional tarot card which is lovely it also Patrick included two extra cards this one is his uh, from his royal mischief playing cards from US games edition with silver gilding five of hearts 
and a beautiful um, card number 65 Dove from uh, Mildred Spain Oracle. So we're going to have a look at this beautiful deck now together. I'll flip the camera and we'll have a close-up look at those beautiful cards in the paradoxical rose edition of uh, Triumph de la Luna deck by Patrick Once Valencia. again here we see the tag box that uh, Triumph de la Luna paradoxical rose edition came in. The lovers cards at the back. Triomphe de la Luna is the Marseille-styled cousin of the Deviant, Deviant Moon Terror. Its creation was inspired by antique historical decks and 19th century satirical illustrations. And it's actually for tag box. This one is uh, quite of an okay quality, one of the better ones on the market when it comes to tag boxes. So I'll have a look at the cards now. So the card stock is amazing. It's it's very, uh, to me, it almost resembles um, US Games card stock. They're a little, tiny bit, uh, kind of got that waxy feel, but they are very pliable. They're really the amazing card stock. The only thing that I wish I had the uh, rose gold or uh, rose metallic marker so I could etch this beautiful deck. Uh, in, in that um, color. So uh, that's the back of the title card. So we have the same description as it was on the side of the box. The online guide booklet can be downloaded from Divian Moon website. I didn't know um, it had a booklet, so that's good news. I'll have a look. And um, so let's have a look just for the full card, but we'll have a look at the bags. Let's have a look how beautiful Crescent Moon uh, bags. And it's sort of that sea blue, uh, turquoise, greenish color, stunning. So that's the full card that we have here. Love it. So let's just do it this way. I have the magician. I love that the magi magician is depicted like that trickster in that mask and uh, with those cups, street game, playing street game, high priestess. Don't you just love the coloration here? Sort of like lighter turquoise green uh, and uh, bright pinks and border reds and uh, it's just stunning. The titles, as you can see, are all in English. The Empress. Emperor. I do love the satire of this particular deck. And I think really the darker backgrounds, um, they, um, I don't know, I just think it's just perfect fit to this particular deck. And I love all things rose and pink, so that's the winner, I think, for me, Hierophant. Lovers, so it's not your traditional Terra de Marseille lovers, but maybe I'm not aware some of the Marseille decks do have two figures as lovers. We have the chariot. Justice card. I really like her. The hermit with two fingers up. Enlightenment on the crescent moon there as well. Wheel of Fortune with all those creatures. I must say I do like the um, uh, the addition of those somewhat broken lines as well. That makes it feel a little bit vintagey as well. I do love the strength card. Well, once again, the moon here, we have the stars. The hangman and the cocoon. And the snake. Yeah, that, that can be so many interpretations of these cards already. 
I do love that um, while the, they're uh, satirical characters, but they, because um, I really love reading by where the body language, where the cards are facing directionality, and I, I really appreciate this in this deck, even this addition of like little birds and the death card looking towards the death and this little um, creature creeping out of the belly of the death. And once again, I have those um, figures appearing, the, uh, the heads appearing from the ground. I think the death card itself is quite adorable. So I do like my cheeky death cards in uh, Tarot de Marseille. And because it's death, it's got a number, but it doesn't have the title. It doesn't have like unnamed cards. Adorable temperance. There's several of there is an elephant there. I love those cups. It's again, as a translation to the suits of cups. I kind of like that they're depicted just like in the suits of cups later on that we will see and we get to the devil and you may say that um uh, you kind of are more familiar with this type of devil and this one is from uh Sarivan Hisman's of uh, Terror Street Revival from his Dodali deck and we know Dodal deck dates to uh 1701 so we generally have a figure well some of them wouldn't have the eyes on the belly or on the knees um but the dali is considered terror de marseille type one but uh generally the devil is facing forward and has two acolytes but uh patrick valenza's choice of devil is more facing uh to the right and uh has got like a face on the belly faces on the knees and um, if you have a look at Viville and uh, Jacques Viville Terre de Marseille dates just like Noblesse 16 around 1650s, that was the devil depicted in um, in Viville Terre de Marseille. This one is the reproduction by uh, Flournois. But you can see those devil. Uh, well, I kind of see that this devil, Patrick Valenza's devil was influenced by that time a devil or possibly even by Jacques Reville Terre de Marseille so I quite like it as well that makes it rather unique to me and then tower tower is the uh, card here that we have a double we have an extra tower card to choose from so this one is once again if you have a look this tower card is um it's probably your more traditional Terre de Marseille tower card resembling our uh, uh, probably the tower in RWS as well right so two figures falling off and the, uh, the crown the roof of the tower is falling with the flames bursting from the clouds or the sun so yeah that's uh, again that's Sullivan Hisman's Dadali but also we have an additional card here and this one is the lightning I must say I'm not uh, I don't know yet which one I will keep on the deck because I appreciate both and if you look at Jacques Reveal again Jacques Reveal Terre de Marseille of 1650s so uh, we can see rather a resemblance of the lightning striking the tree right uh, and that figure looking up with his <laughs> beasts or animals, uh, the herd there. So um, I quite like the, this version as well, but uh, Patrick Valenza chose uh, to call it this one is the tower, the more traditional one, and the lightning. And then we have the star. We only have one star card. And that's probably the star that we are most used to, right? Once again, the Dali deck. I just had it um, at hand to pull those cards. But once again, if you look at Reveal, the old Reveal deck, and, and actually the Reveal deck I got from Flormois, I, uh, I only have uh, majors only, but there are two sets of majors. So like this and the other one would be a reverse. So like when you reverse this one, it would be facing like the star cards in Patrick Valenza's uh, Triunfi de la Luna. So I quite like this one. So you have more, uh, you don't have the maiden or the uh, uh, female figure with two vessels and the bird, but you rather had an astronomer pointing at the star or stars here. The moon. I think it's quite adorable. The sun. I never thought I would say it about Patrick Valenza's deck, but I think that's rather cute. 
the judgment. And we have the world. Love it. So now we'll have a look at the minors. So we start with the suit of swords and we start with the court, card, court cards. The king. Love the crown. Love the crescent moon. The queen. Adore the colors. That fish bird. Knight. Page. I can see that youthfulness in this page of swords. And then we have the miners. Of course, this one is uh, Terra de Marseille, but um, it goes without saying when I have swords, I like them to be curled and crossed. And if the uh, number is uneven to have that one sword in the middle, the swords are facing upwards. And the uh, wood cards. So again, the sword is facing seven up love the eye flowering eye and I go to uh, through uh, from the higher number to the lower again love this flower ace little blood from the pinky finger <laughs> suit of wounds I must say I am impressed. I'm so so very impressed. Page myself. <laughs> Zero horns. Love those. Love the ones. Love my ones crossing. Again, was the pink finger sticking out? Suit of cups. I love those cups. The cups that we saw in the temperance card. I love this water underneath. Oh, I love her. It's kind of my significator is the Queen of Cups. So I'm gonna like that one. So I like that it's the sun actually heating the water in the cup. That's gold. Love that Knight of Cups. I love darker hours of the day and um, and I don't really have dogs that have dark backgrounds. From memory, I don't recall having any. So that was the reason why I um, and I did want to have one of Patrick Valenza's dogs that I would I would see myself reading with, and that's for sure. That's the one for me. I love the cups. It's just so beautiful. I hope my camera does justice to the coloration, but uh, the cards, they feel, they look, I think, way better than they are, um, more, more better than on the camera. So I like uh, kind of two of them, I aim to two of them are fuller cups. Once again, three of cups, maybe that one cup will pour and share with the other two. And two of cups are both full filled. Beautiful ace of cups. Just have a look at this. And the last um, last suit and coins, pentacles, but coins of course in uh, Terra de Marseille. Once again, youthful, playful page and the coin is lying away. Yeah, I like this deck. I've said it probably a few times now, but I really, really do. 
kind of devil depiction on the coins and then you have different oh yeah, yeah so once again i have different i need to check whether it's more the uh, the court cards of the of the suit of coins that are depicted here Shield. I do like that he created that two of coins traditional, like you would see in traditional Tarot de Marseille cards with uh, the name of the company or creator, the place, and uh, the year of uh, of the creation of the deck. I thought this one was published in twenty seventeen, was it? But maybe the original D D uh, the original Triumph de la Luna was created in 2016. Don't quote me on that, Ace. Ah, yeah, and we're coming here to the extra cards. Hope, peace, happiness, love. I think this one may work really nice as a clarify if you want to pull an extra card at the end of the reading. the infinity symbol it's almost okay so it's like your strength card but it's um horizontal and the other oh yeah they do have numbers oh, look i miss the numbers yes yeah, so we have 10 cards so we have 10 yeah there we go i miss the numbers nine eight Seven, six, five. It again has that resemblance of the hierophant with acolytes, right? de la luna paradoxical rose edition bear with uh, i know it's dark and you can't see what's going on but i just thought i will go into my bathroom switch the lights off and uh, do a little experiment using my uv light also known as a black light which uh, on patrick valenza's website he mentioned that paradoxical edition glows in the dark when uh, the black light is used so i pulled three cards uh, to save the time asking the question only using the majors and asking the questions question what uh, will paradoxical uh, paradoxical rose edition of triumph de la luna teach us and um, let's reveal those cards so i'm using that's my blue light and just have a look how this is so much fun So we have the lovers. The temperance. And we have the world. So maybe this deck will teach us how to make balanced choices so the lovers become two of cups ending on top of the world so the cards will teach us how to make balanced choices to succeed and to dance on top of the world that's what i see in the cards but this is so much fun i think i'm going to stay here for a little longer today with my black light and my new cards
I hope so much that you enjoyed this little walkthrough of Trionfi de la Luna Paradoxical Rose edition in uh, English with English fonts. Please let me know. I'm so curious to know whether you have any of Patrick Valenza's decks and which one do you uh, do you read with mostly? Which deck is your favorite or which few decks are your favorite of his. Do you have Trionfi de la Luna or Trionfi de la Luna deck? Which editions? I know there were a couple of other paradoxical ones and there was that original one. Uh, uh, there was an uh, issue edition in French, in Italian and uh, in English as well. So please let me know in the comments below what, which, which, which edition do you have and whether you like it and whether you read with that. I'm so, I would really, really love and be grateful to know. Also, uh, on Friday, I will be going live and that will be 9 a.m. Uh, Australian time. I believe it's around 10 p.m. GMT. But I will, uh, I will schedule, um, I will schedule that video, that live chat, and in that live chat, I will be drawing the winner of the giveaway that I announced uh, the uh, week before last. Was it last week? The week before last? I gave two weeks for the giveaway, so uh, I will uh, post the link to my uh, to my giveaway live chat with the kind of time. Uh, uh, where, the, where the announcement, the official announcement of the giveaway started and ended is just only a couple of minutes if you want to enter on how to enter and what will be in the giveaway so keep an eye on that thank you so much for stopping by for watching this video namaste